Hey there, my name is Dave Pompes, and since 2007, I've been helping people overcome H. pylori and all the different symptoms uh, that it tends to be able to cause. This short video is just a brief overview to help answer the question, what is H. pylori? Well, H. pylori is a corkscrew shaped organism. It's a bacterium. It's a tiny little thing, microscopic bacterium, but it has the ability to cause a whole bunch of problems in your digestive system. And what it does because of its corkscrew shape is it's able to bury into your stomach lining. Now it was discovered in about 1979 by an Australian doctor named Dr. Barry Marshall. And then Dr. Barry Marshall uh, ultimately uh, gained the Nobel Prize in 2005 for proving that H. pylori actually has the ability to cause stomach ulcers. Now, how do you get H. pylori? Well, there are a number of different ways that you can actually catch or acquire H. pylori. First of all, it can be passed from person to person. You can catch it from kissing, sexual contact, uh, and you may even be able to catch it from sharing things like drinking and eating utensils. Number two, it can be acquired by eating contaminated food. Number three, it can be uh, acquired by drinking contaminated water. And number four, you may even be able to acquire H. pylori uh, during endoscopy procedures at the hospital. So if the person before you had H. pylori and you then have an endoscopy and they haven't washed the equipment properly, you may end up with H. pylori uh, from a simple thing like a, an endoscopy procedure, which is kind of ironic, but it is in the medical literature uh, as a possible transmission route of H. pylori. Now, what symptoms can it cause? Well, can actually cause a whole array of symptoms around the body. Remember I said it had a corkscrew shape. Let's go back to that. The corkscrew shape allows it to bury into the stomach lining. And when it does so, it's a little bit like putting a piece of glass in your finger or a splinter in your finger. It's gonna cause a whole bunch of redness and swelling that we call inflammation. And the inflammation in the stomach or in the upper part of the small intestine is called gastritis or duodenitis. Anything with itis on the end simply means inflamed. Now that inflammation in turn can create pain. So you can find that you struggle with heartburn, with tummy pain, you can also get bloated. You might also find that you end up with a lot of belching and burping or gas and wind and possibly even constipation and diarrhea. But that's not the end of it. Because H. pylori has the ability to really disrupt the ability of your digestive system to function properly, you can start to get symptoms elsewhere in your body as well. And so you can start to feel tired. You can get mood changes. You might have a hard time sleeping. You might find that your weight starts to fluctuate. Some people actually gain weight because of H. pylori and some people lose weight really, really rapidly. You can find it difficult to sleep because you might have heartburn at night that gets worse and worse as you try to lie down and sleep, for example. H. pylori is associated with a whole bunch of different skin complaints, particularly rosacea and urticaria. And in some people, small numbers of people, we also know that H. pylori can go on to cause stomach cancer, and it may also be related to heart disease and associated conditions like high blood pressure, insulin resistance, and possibly even type two diabetes as well. And all of this is in the medical literature Trouble is, your doctor probably won't know that much about it. So my job is to help you understand H. pylori in the best way you possibly can, because that's gonna give you the best chance of making a full recovery, not only by getting rid of H. pylori, but also by overcoming all the possible symptoms and conditions that it may have been contributing to over the last weeks, months, or possibly even years that you've had it. Now, I said, that this was a brief overview. I could talk about H. pylori for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. That's kind of what you get when you've worked with several thousand people uh, over a number of years around the world with this uh, particular bacterium. But what I'd really love you to do is to visit my website because at my website, there is an absolute ton of free information about H. pylori, how you get it, the symptoms and diseases it causes, and not only that, but how you can treat it effectively, either using antibiotics or by using diet and herbs 
and I go into a lot more detail about all the different symptoms because every symptom that I've mentioned in this presentation can be caused by other factors as well. So if you would love a ton of free education about H. pylori, please go to my website, which is www.hpyloriSymptoms.com. My name is Dave Pompes, and I really look forward to speaking with you again next time. Cheers.